Hello everyone, it's Adam here. Um, for a Golf R, this looks pretty bad. See these rusted bolts? See this clearance? Um, and I'm going to show you how I removed this. It's really gotten pretty bad. This is the um, US Millworks uh, license plate bracket for the Golf R, or Mark 7s. And it's basically rusted on now. I gotta get my own. Um... It's basically stuck on now because they uh, basically ignored my request for help. Uh, and then when I asked for spare parts, they wouldn't sell them to me. They were just like, ah, just gotta buy a new one. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the US Millworks one off. I don't like when companies don't stand by their product. I've always seen a lifetime warranty. So what has happened is this here won't come off of this bracket. This is two separate pieces. This won't come apart anymore. It's kind of rusted together. Um, so this is going in the trash basically. So we're switching over to um, these guys. They were on eBay. It's sold out of Washington State. I have no idea where it's made, but. Um, Go Mini Go is the company. This was half the price of US Millworks as well. I'll link to it below. All right, so here's our instructions for this. So you can pause and read this if you want. There's the uh, diagram. We've already got our bolt kind of stuck in here like this. I'm gonna go and get it staged up and then I'll come back to you guys. So first up, put the tow hook piece in there, 19 millimeter, tighten that down. Then next, we've got this piece here with a little um, tightener. Put it in there and tighten it down. Now, why I like my old one so much is because it was quick release. So before car washes, I could take it off, and then soon it just stopped coming off. So this also says take it off before you wash your car. And, uh, you know, well, <laughs> oh well, right? Okay, so once that's in, then we have our mounting plate, which appears to go in like this. So you can do you can do super low like that or you can go up high. I'm going to go super low. So we do that way. Through here. And then a lock nut on the rear. And same on the other side. This is going to be super easy to install really compared to the, the Millworks one. The Millworks one was a little bit of a... Well, I got a video on it I think. But I wasn't really a fan of that one. Insulation-wise, although the build quality appeared to be a lot nicer than this, but it didn't survive the New England winters. Well, let's go ahead and tighten this down then. Tighten this up, we've got a size 10 and a size 4 for this process. So, put your size 4 on the front, your size 10 on the rear. And, yep. Yeah, I would say the U.S. mill works. One is uh, way better thought out. So removing this is actually kind of a lot of, bit of, a lot of work because you have to uh, take all this apart to remove it. Uh, they do also include, by the way, um, this in the package if you need it. All right, so that's there. Eh, it's not really moving anywhere. It's also not coming in contact with my plastic, which is what matters. All right. Now for the plate, just like that. All right, now that this is installed, you can get an idea of how it looks. The clearance on the rear. how it looks from the top down. So even though I thought earlier you had to kind of remove these here to get to this, I'm guessing that you took a 19 millimeter um, wrench and stuck it down in here. If you were careful, there you go. You can get it right in there. And you can work your way out if you want to leave the whole thing intact. So that's, that's an option if you're super careful about your paint. This is uh, half the price of U.S. Millworks. It's definitely half the rigidity, but 
the uh, U.S. Millworks lasted three seasons, including one winter, and did not work anymore. So, a link below to buy this. Um, I don't know. It's a license plate bracket. What more can I say? <laughs>